Okay, welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is going to be zcode 1382 balance a binary search tree. So given the root of a binary search tree, return a balanced binary search tree with the same node values. If there is more than one answer, return any of them. The binary search tree is balanced if the depth of two subtrees of every node never differs by more than one. So in the first example here, we have an unbalanced binary search tree and we need to convert it into a balanced binary search tree. So as you can see here, the depths are no greater than one between the left side and the right side. It's the same with this example here. So we need to convert from this to either or of these. So let's dive into the explanation on this one. So there's two steps to solving this process. The first step is to utilize the BST to make this a lot easier. So we need to do an in-order reversal of this unbalanced BST. And this will give us an array containing the values in order. So that's step one. Step two is now using this array to build out a tree. And the way we do that is we grab the middle value. So we're going to do math.floor. We're going to grab this mid value. We're going to set that to the head. Then we're going to grab all values to the left of it. These are going to be in the left side of the tree. And we're going to grab all values to the right side of it, and those are going to be in the right side of the tree. And then we carry out our recursion on this in order to populate it. So we carry out the recursive leap of faith, and it will populate the tree like so. So that's the basic understanding of this solution. Let's dive into the code, and it will be easier for you to follow. So firstly, we need to create an array which is going to contain the in-order traversal of this unbalanced BST. We're going to run a function called in order, which we are going to create, which is going to take in the root and the array, which we just created. So let's create the in order function. I'm going to take in root and array. So with any recursive call, we need to have a base case. So if root is equal to null, we can just return out of that. And then we carry out the recursive leap of faith. So with in order, we need to traverse the left side first. So it's the left, root, right. So we pass in the left subtree and the array. We need to push in the current value, so root at val. And then we need to carry out the recursion down the right side. And this will populate this array with the in-order traversal of this tree. Now we need to create a function that will build out the tree. So we can pass in the array to that function and we can create it. So build tree is going to take in the array. Remember, this is going to be a recursive call. So we need a base case. So if array dot length is equal to zero, we can return null. We need to grab the middle value. So mid is equal to math dot floor. It's going to be r dot length divided by two. We're going to create a head now. So that's going to be equal to new tree node and that value at the middle of the array. Then we need to grab the left and right side of the array from the middle point. So the left is going to be r dot slice from zero to mid. So, so with the slice operator, the second value passed in is not inclusive. So it's not going to include the middle value. And then right is going to be r dot slice we're going to slice from mid plus one. Then we just need to build out the tree. So we can say head dot left. So the left side, we're going to carry out the recursive leap of faith. We're going to pass in the left values. So, so all the values to the left of the middle. And we're also going to carry out the recursive call on the right side of head. So build tree and pass in the right side. Finally, we can return head. And remember, within this container here, we need to return build tree as well. Let's give that a go and see if it's worked. Okay, it's been accepted. And there you have it. Runtime doesn't look too great at the moment, but then again, this value right here is temperamental. If I submit it again, okay, there we have it. It's a little bit faster.